Hey everybody, Susan Garrett here. And right now we are examining It's Your Choice. There's a lot of people that are learning It's Your Choice for the first time and that's fantastic. If you aren't familiar with It's Your Choice, it starts, come here, move, as a game. You have cookies in your hand, your dog's gonna wanna molest your hand and eat the cookies and we're teaching them that they should have self-control, some impulse control. Doesn't matter if we've dropped it on the floor, they have to wait to be told. So that's the foundation, yes, of it's your choice. Now, sit. If you have played it's your choice, give me a heart. So what some people want is when there's a cookie in front, they want their dog to watch them so that their dog's face comes up here. You can see momentum won't even do that. And I'll get to what I want for my dogs and, um, and why. That's not part of the It's Your Choice game. We don't want our dogs to see a cookie on the floor and to look up at our face. We want them to keep looking at that treat. Get it! And it's, and it's, you know, it's not the most critical part of the game, but it's a pretty important part. And I'm gonna tell you why. If my dog's looking at the treat and I want her to, get, I want her attention, I just hear her name, Mentum. Good, and she will look up at me and then she can look back at the treat and keep looking at that treat. No, there's one right here. You forgot about that one. Good. Mentum. Good. So if I don't want her to look at that anymore, I just say her name and she looks back at me. Can you come here and sit? Thank you. Get it. Good. And this is not something I just arbitrarily said, well, let's not have the dogs look at us. This was really purposeful. It's all about layers of training. In our program, it's a choice-based program. We want the dogs to think for themselves, whether we are around or not. So come here. It starts, sit, it starts as a cookie, but this cookie just represents everything we're growing to. How many of you have dogs who uh, chase after squirrels? How many of your dogs um, get distracted by other dogs and maybe want to aggress at another dog? So this is a squirrel. We want them to look at the squirrel to let us know it's there. Momentum, good. And then when we say their name, we want them to come off of that squirrel. Get it. It's your choice starts as a cookie, but as you're gonna learn how I grow It's Your Choice, how we put more layers on for it to become more than just a party gig, for it to become a way of life. All right, so It's Your Choice. Let's say it's a toy. We throw a toy, we want our dogs to look at that toy because if they don't, how are they gonna know where it lands? If I want them, let's say a car goes by and I don't want them now to look at that toy, all that I need to do is say, Mentum, she looks back up at me, I give her a cookie. Now that mentum, if you want to give a formal cue that says, watch me, eyes up, look at me, look, whatever you want, that's fine. I just use the dog's name because if they're out and about and I say their name, I want them to, to give me their attention. Get it? <laughs> forgot about that, didn't I? Sorry, girly. I forgot about it, I forgot about it, I forgot about it. All right, and thank you. Can you lie down? Good. If I'm walking down the street and my dogs see like a piece of meat on the ground, they will stop and stare at it. And I might, you know, be walking on a leash and then I'll get my shoulder jerked back and they'll go, uh, excuse me, this is really good and I'd like to eat it. And I can reward that choice, good decision, by feeding them something else or by playing a game of tug, by picking up that cookie and throwing it away or because I don't want my dogs to randomly be eating food off the ground, right? And so, I have the opportunity to reward choice in my dogs because I've trained It's Your Choice to be look at what is distracting you. Look at what is distracting you and then if I need your attention, I will call you back. But you don't have to add that layer of complexity yet. All I want you guys to do is keep growing them staring at the cookies but not stealing them because that's showing you I got great self-control. I see what I want, but I'm not taking it. It's all about them not diving in um, or not, you know, fighting you for that chance to have the reward. So just to recap, we want the dog to show us choice. We don't want to grow the game with them staring at our face because then they're never acknowledging the value of that treat. We never get a chance to say, you've done a great job. That's a super choice at looking at what you really want, but not stealing it. Okay, and then when we grow this and they see like a squirrel, I, I can tell when my dogs buy something because they don't take off after it right away, they look.
and it might be one of the other dogs spying them you know we have a big property here and one of the other dogs might have gone around and behind and they see the other dog and I'll say all right you can go and they'll take off after that other dog but they if they just looked at my face every time I'd be like what lassie did Timmy fall down the well like I don't know why you're looking at me it's all the same thing is there a cookie on the floor is there a dog over there do you see a squirrel what is it so you just see the value now of getting them to look at the food it's because the food just represents a distraction okay so if you want more information on the is your choice summit you can start right away we've got a 20 minute video for you to watch and an ebook for you to gain uh, uh, to, to grab a hold of and and go through while you're watching that video in choice-based training, it's really important that the dog has confidence at every layer. You don't start adding on layers. Like we don't want to take our dog who, um, you know, let's say it's a terrier or a sighthound who loves to chase prey. We're not going to play as your choice with a couple cookies in your living room and then go to a bunny farm and expect your dog not to make poor choices. We're gonna, but we're gonna get to that stage by adding layers of learning as you go along. And I'll see you guys at the It's Your Choice Summit starting this week. What I've got for you right now is our starter pack and it's absolutely free. It includes three elements. Number one is your game plan. Number two is a downloadable recipe book, chalk full of some of my favorite dog training treats that I use when I train my own dogs. Healthy ingredients lead to healthy dogs. And the third thing that comes with the starter pack is early access to video two. You don't have to wait until it's released. I can't wait to read the stories of how your dog's behavior starts to shift once you start identifying those decision loops and how you can impact the reaction that the dog's getting for the action that he takes. I'll see you next time.